Hello, it's me, Tree. I have an art box snacks, art box snacks, art snacks box to, you know, entertain y'all with. Assuming I can open it because I always have trouble opening this box for some reason. It's because my brain says that the top of the box is the side with the address on it, and it's not. That's the bottom of the box. So there you go. Oh, thing. Ooh. Come on. You can do it. So, the, uh, media this month. Media. I can't. <laughs> the paper that came with it this month is... Fabriano watercolor, which Fabriano is a very nice brand. Um, it's cold press. I just, I'm, oh no, it says it's hot press. I think it's lying to me, but it's not. Hot. If it's hot press, then it's hot press in a very cold pressed way. Please note, it is correct that it's hot press. I, I was having a weird just like. Uh, I was having a weird dyslexic moment. Sometimes I like shift terms and it's very embarrassing when my brain does that. So it is correct. It is hot press. It's smooth. My brain is questionable at times. So ignore me on the paper. Um, but we'll find out. It's 140 pounds um, weight and we will see how it goes. Our favorite little bag of doom. Alright. So the snack this month is double bubble gum. So, you know, that's always nice. The original flavor. It's like, welcome to Penny Candy 101. Um, got microns, which are always handy. Though I prefer the the plastic nib. Uh, the this is the eight, ten, and twelve size nibs. So at least they're a size that I'm less likely to destroy immediately. Um, tape. There's washi tape this month. Look how cute it is. And in the tissue paper of doom. Okay. Is it gonna come off? Is it gonna come off? Is the sticker gonna come off? Without ripping it? No. We're close though. So close. Look at how close we were. We have one of these mixed media art crayons. Do the beauty tuber thing there. A little thing of uh, the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor, which is shiny. It's in phthalo green. Um, I, I have used Danielle Smith in the back in the past. I can't talk today for some reason. Um, but it's been for um, their colored gessos primarily. Because they have really nice colored gessos. Uh, a drawing pencil because why not? Which cr creator color, uh, create color, create a color. Creta color. I can say it. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you want the box? Excuse me. I have a I have an issue with the cat. Do you want the box? <laughs> um, 
it's 2H. Uh, they're not my favorite drawing pencil brand, but then again, I don't use drawing pencils really. I use colored pencils to draw. I'm weird. A lovely water brush. Water pen brush. I was, I think it's a Kurt coffee. I'll have to check if they go let me know. And two months, hello. Hi. <laughs> and this month's sticker is kind of like sherbery, um, like leopard print, kind of. I have a cat holding on the window. Like a toddler. Hi. You need to come up. You need to grace everyone with your existence. I think you're getting a cat a kitten visit. Come on. Kitten visit. No. Don't nuzzle the thing. It is set precariously. It does not need your help. Strata. That was the word I was looking for. Strata. <laughs> the Fabriano watercolor is this month's Strata. Stop. Um. So, Fabriano Hot Press. Studio watercolor paper widget. Mm, it's not hot press, but okay. Uh, the the mic the micron pens. Okay. Um, washi tape. Yay, washi tape. Um, extra fine water. Daniel Smith extra fine watercolor, which it that little tube is pricey. It's like ten bucks pricey. Um, stop, please. Um, she's fine. She's just dramatic. See what I mean? Dramatic. Um, the Bixby Art Crayon is by Marabu. Um, it's wax-based pastel stick. So it's a crayon. Um, but it is, uh, it works both wet and dry. It's evidently retractable. Uh, okay, the the mixed media fluid arts brush, which is the water brush, is um, by Marabu also. So. Which I love water uh, water pens, water brushes. And yeah, that's it. Um, so, this is, this is fun, this is cool, um, I'm gonna do a demo of it once I can reclaim my desk from the cat, um, or tomorrow, might be tomorrow, um, so yeah, uh, we'll bring you a thing of that soon. So, hi, um, I deserve this, 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 this. Apparently forgot what I was going to say, but um, this is the uh, wow brain not working. This is the demoy part of my art snacks. Some art snacks, art snacks unboxing. Is it an art sacrifice? Um. So here we are. Just a reminder. There's this art crayon, water brush, um, Daniel Smith, uh, watercolor, um, drawing pencil. It's a, it is a 2H, so it is a standard drawing pencil, and microns of various sizes. Also, the strata, f oh, and washi tape, and strata for this month was this Fabriano hot press because my brain flip-flopped hot press and cold press when I was talking about it 
paper, um, which I do, 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 do. I tore down the piece into four pieces just because I didn't feel like I needed an entire piece to do a demo. However, we do need to do some swatching because I don't know what this color looks like or what that will do. So we have this little piece of one of the other hot press watercolor papers that um, came previously. Okay, just making sure you are recording. First, I don't really have one of my uh, thingies. Thingies is a really healthy, helpful word, isn't it? Um, one of my mixing trays. I don't have one of my mixing trays out, so. I don't know why I don't, so we're just going to grab some wax paper. Lord, I was looking for was palette. Um, and I use wax paper for a lot of things. It's a good, um, a good layer in mixed media stuff. It's good for making textures and watercolor. It's good for a, a, a make-do palette. Myriad of things. So, carefully. probably more than I'm going to need. And I'm going to use my, um, my old Kuretake, um, water brush just because it's a more brush brush versus a flat brush. It is very green, which is not surprising because it's phthalo green. It's nice, it's bright, got a little blue into it, which is that phthalo part. Most of my experience with Daniel Smith products is with their color gesso, which I really like. Wow, it just kind of lasts for days, doesn't it? paper scraps in the history of ever. It's like, don't get rid of your paper scraps. Use them for, for swatches and um, seeing how media looks. Well, you can't really tell with that because it's white on white, but... you know, microns. But at least they're, they're chunkier than the super fine nibs, which I destroy if you look at me wrong. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. So let's do a thing. 
and I have a little sketch that I have already sketched, um, that I'm not going to just, like, eyeball transfer. Which is weird for me because I do not, as a general rule, draw with drawing pencils. I use colored pencils because I'm weird that way. But it's okay. We will do the thing and it will be fine. In theory. Now, the thing about my prongs is that they are waterproof. So, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in and do a little ink over it. Okay, so we have our our, our uh, we have our green base laid down. Needs a little bit more time to dry. But in the meantime that has but in the meantime this is dried mostly. You can see how this works on it. It is like a very soft waxy crayon and it is water soluble. So that's going to make for some nice coloration here now as soon as this thing dries. Okay, my camera decided to like not record for a little bit so I don't know how much I have we have missed of each other, but here we are. We, we have our green layer laid down for our frog um, and leaves, and I went in with the white crayon and a little bit of the green to give a little color to the background. Now we're gonna come in and do some little highlights. Nothing exciting, just a little bit here and there. And we'll go back in with our, our little brush. I have too much water on. because this is water soluble. It's giving us a layer of transparent color over the top of our friend. I guess be aware that it 
will sometimes come up a little chunky, and then you have little chunky bits. And you can also rub it in, smear it in. I mean, I'm really liking this. I kind of want more of these in different colors. So that's something to consider. And now we're gonna come back in with the Micron and do more um, exacting work. It's not exacting work. More, this is a more concrete line work. I don't even know what to call it. And just because it's me. I'm going to, as soon as I can find it, Jesus. Where'd you go? not to drop everything. Um, going to use the white micron, uh, not white micron, white uh, Uniball Sigma that came in last month. It's because it's not last month's. This is my. This is the one that's almost dead. <laughs> I am. I was confused. There is the one from last month's. of what this stuff can do. Um, I mean, the watercolor is lovely. Um, I can see why people buy Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, paper is not my favorite. I don't like hot press watercolor. I like cold press watercolor. But that is also me. Um, I will use it for things that just may not be watercolors. Um, the cray crayon thing, God, I want more of them. They, they are real good. 
So thank you for joining me in this demoing thing where I cannot word to save my life. Um, and I hope you enjoy. And I kind of like my froggy. I kind of want to do a, a actually refined piece versus the slapdash I just did. So there you go. Do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.